Hello everyone and welcome to a new playlist I guess or like series uh, in this series we're going to be making games so in this episode in today's episode we're going to be making pong uh, my voice is a little bit on a bad side I guess um, I'm kind of sick and I hope I'm gonna get well soon but yeah so please just take it on for this video um yeah so let's start uh, first we need a setup function because we need a screen like display so yep that's a pong screen I guess let's make it a little bit shorter um yeah seems fine okay then we need uh, draw function and we're gonna make background 51 I just love 51 cuz it's awesome I guess um, okay so we have this then we need a few p vectors one p vector is gonna be a ball velocity another one is gonna be ball acceleration but nah let's just put position because we don't need the acceleration really um, then another one is gonna be p vector uh, p1 position so for player 1 and another p vector for player 2 position uh, yep still d doesn't work let's let's now set it the p velocity to I don't know let's say uh, p vector dot random to d um then b position uh, should be new p vector and width divided by 2 and height divided by 2 um then we need player 1 position is gonna be new p vector Um, and the width is gonna be zero, and the height is gonna be height divided by two. And then for the player two, it's gonna be the same, except it's gonna be width minus fifty. Or let's just make it fifteen. So the width is gonna be fifteen. Um, then we draw an ellipse, which is uh, b pos dot x b pos.y and 16 16 um we add velocity to the position so b velocity dot x plus equals nope b dot position equals b velocity x and the same for the y um Let's see. Okay, so the ball moves nice. Let's just multiply that by some random amount. So pval dot multiply by five, I guess. Because we get it uh, normalized. Um, okay, so that's done. Then let's prevent the ball going outside of the window. So if bpos dot x is larger than width. Or b pos dot x is less than zero. B velocity dot x equals minus b vel dot x. And let's just multiply it by minus one. Okay, that's for x. Let's make it for y. Y height y and y so let's see what does it do now okay it bounces nice that's great um and now we need to draw players right so let's just draw a player so rectangle um let's just make a pad width uh, so let's make an integer pad width 
pet W, I guess. Um, and let's set it to 15. Uh, so, pad width, and then integer pad height. I don't know, let's go with 150. And that's going to that's gonna be kind of big, but whatever. Uh, height divided by 2 minus pad height divided by 2. Minus pad height divided by 2. Um, and that's going to be P2 position. So let's set a rectangle. Pad width uh, dot x. Pad width dot... Nah, what am I doing? Player 1 position dot x. Player 1 position dot y. And then we need uh, pad w, pad uh, height. So that's for one player. So at the middle of the screen, nice. And let's do the same for player two. It's player two, nice. Okay. So now we need some stuff for the button press, right? So let's just do void key pressed. And just for now, let's just set the position of the second player to the ball so I won't because I'll be playing with the bot not myself. Uh, so let's do p2 position dot y equals b pos dot y uh no b pos dot y so basically it's gonna move the same way the ball does. Um, yeah, and I need to uh, to subtract the height of the pad, so pad height divided by 2. So it's going to be centering on the ball. Okay. So that's great for now, I guess. Um, so let's get key pressed. So if key equals W, I guess, uh, move the player one that which uh, player two position dot y plus equals ten, and if key is s, move down for ten pixels minus. So w and s are not updating. Um. I think I've had that problem before. And I don't know why. I think it's something related to this. Nope. Yep. Misclicked. Hmm. Oh. I'm moving player 2. What's wrong with me? Okay, I just inverted the movement. Okay, you should be minus and you should be plus. Um, so yeah, basically we are moving. Nice. And, but I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna set two booleans. Um, so one's gonna be up. It's gonna be false. And the other one's gonna be down. And it's going to be false as well. So, when the key S is pressed, please move my pad down. So, if key is S, down equals true. And if key W is pressed, up should equal to true. And I'm just going to set down to false and the other way as well, so up equals false. Um, and then each frame, or each draw frame, I guess, I'm gonna increase the height of my player one position dot y. So I'm just gonna put it in here. So if uh, up, I want my player one position dot y to increase. 
else. I mean, yeah, else, because we're gonna have else if down. Both can be true at the same time, so let's just do that. Player one dot position dot y minus minus. And I think I'm gonna have to do exactly the opposite, but okay. Um, okay, so this kind of works. Um, I just need to increase it because I think it's a little bit slow. Uh, so plus equals 5. Let's see. Yep, up and down. That's nice. But now I need to set the cure list because now it's just gonna move forever uh, and it's not stopping. So let's just do void key released. Released. Oh, okay, I was confused. Uh, so if query list and I just do this, so up should equals to false, and down should equals to false. Okay, so that actually works. Nice. Now I need to set the ball to bounce off the the. This thing is uh, the pads, and if it hits the sides, it gets I mean, a player gets a point or a bot. So, to do that, we'll require to do something. Um, I can remove these lines. Um, so, to do that, I'm gonna have to do. Um, so the height, I'm gonna leave the height, but the x, if that equals to the height, um, yeah, you should get add a point, I guess. Um, so that's gonna be commented for now, because I don't wanna add points yet, quite yet. Uh, but let's reuse this if. So if we have this, but not at width, but is greater than width minus um, pad width, and pos is less than pad width, it should bounce. So b velocity dot x times equals minus one. Let's see how that works. So this should look like it's bouncing off the pads, but even if our pads aren't there. Okay, so that actually works right now, but we sh still need to do something else. So, beside this, we need to check for y. So, if bpos dot y, um, but yeah, so that's why I'm gonna do this in a separate if, because I need to check for both the players at the same time. Um, I need to get which player, which uh, on which side it is. So, if it's on the rightmost side, we need to check if y is greater than b p two position dot y, and b pos dot y is less than p two pos dot y plus pad height. If it is, bounce. So then for the other side we need the same, of course, except we need player one position and player one position. Yeah, like this. And let's see. So this bounces. You will bounce, of course. But what if I move? You don't. Okay, that's great. So, if this is what I want now, so if b pause is greater than width, and if b pause is less than zero, add a point to 
I guess I can set like is, is it a player so it's gonna be true um, and add a point the false force is gonna be a bot I don't know true should be me and false should be the bot yep so now let's make a function uh, why, why do we even need a function let's make just int score let's just make two uh, eh, I'm too used to C. I'm sorry. Um, is actually a new integer with two elements. Um, and so the first element is gonna be my score, and the second one is gonna be the player two score. So this should be a player one score. And this should be the player two scores. And so player one should have the first one. So let's just say scores of zero, on, zero, plus plus. I didn't think I called it score. Yep. Okay. Like this, you should be score of one. Um, and. Yeah, and we need to reset the ball. So, and then we reset the ball with this one. And let's just reset like the whole ball. So, we just call a reset. Void reset. It just calls the ball. And changes the direction to the new one, and you should call it just the reset function so we don't have redundancy, code redundancy. That's a bad, bad practice. And let's just put the code at the end so it doesn't get in the way. Um, so, yeah, we should be getting score set, except we need to draw them. So, let's just draw them. So, text at 0, 0. And let's just do 0 height. Um, yeah, and I forgot the text. So this is going to be score of 0. It's going to be at 0 height. And the other one, so the score 1, is going to be at width minus 15 and height. Okay, so we have 0 and 0. And of course, we we're never gonna win against this bot, but let's see. So he gets a point. That's great. We should also set the ball to move in only one direction. Um, I mean, we should lock it so it just bounces to one side. <laughs> um, so it should. Let's just reset this. Okay, so it bounces, bounces, bounces. And okay, whatever just happened. I think it was because I went into it. Um but yeah, okay, so let's see me bounce. Okay, it bounces. Nice. Um so there's just a slight problem with this piece of code. Which is that my ball is more than width minus bad width but it the problem is that it shouldn't be more than half of that I guess it should it should be less than width minus bad width plus one or like plus two so we have two pixels of space or let's just do five five pixels because why not um so yeah, this and B position pad width. So this is just five pixels. Uh, pad width minus five five pixels. So let's see if we can still do that. Eh, doesn't look like it, but that's great. 
So we've made a bong. You play against a bot that actually scores you, and the bot is unbeatable. So that's great. Um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we can automate it in the next episode. Make the bot better or weaker, I guess. Maybe a few few levels of hardness or whatever. Uh, but there's just one thing that's bugging me, and that's actually pole position dot x. Um, so I want to check if the width is pole dot x minus sixteen or the pole size. Pole size is sixteen. Yeah. So minus sixteen, and this is minus sixteen as well. This one sh should be plus sixteen and plus sixteen. And hmm, this one should be plus 16 because we want to catch it as well. Um, so that's one thing. Um, and then this, of course, plus 16 and plus 16. So it doesn't clip because if it clips, that's a problem. That should be minus. Let's see how it bounces. Eh, that's a little bit off. Wait, why is it? I think I'm done goofed. Um, you know what? Let's just leave this 16 pixels thingies for now. Um, let's just set the Y. So if it's higher. If the ball position is more than height, so let's just do ball minus 16 and P position is plus 16. Nope, I turned them over again. Ah, this one's minus and this one's plus. I always switch them. Oh, is it 8 actually? Yeah, it looks like it can be eight. Okay. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, the code is gonna be online as always. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya next time. Goodbye.